The intention is to do a series of vlogs as a journal to cover the building of two suits of T45D power armor from Fallout. These were for a, a British Fallout live roleplay event, Vault 57, which I'm lucky enough to be involved in and do a lot of the props for. Um, caveats would be they're not cosplay armor, they're nowhere near as high quality as the cosplay stuff that you see. They're not screen accurate, they've got a lot of the iconic elements like the shoulders and the helmet and things, but they're live roleplay armor, so we fought in them. It's an airsoft event. They had to be safe for the airsoft event, um, and they worked really well. Also, you'll see some terrible photography in here. All the terrible stuff is done on old cameras, on old phones, um, and done by me. I'm not a photographer. The good photographs will be down to guys like uh, Roy, Giles, Tim, um, and Oliver, and I'll put links to their websites and stuff. They're professional photographers, really good, very lucky to have worked with them. The helmet that you've just seen um, was 3D printed. We had two printed, Rusty did those for me. The files came from Mini Factory, a guy called Daniel Lillygreen. Um, put those up there for free use, and they're fantastic files, worked really nicely, and the print was spot on. The armor itself is EVA. I watched a lot of videos on YouTube um, about building with EVA. It's the first time I've ever used it, but thanks to guys like Valentine Cosplay, Evil Ted, um, and Punish Props, they're really good guys, really professional. Um, their stuff looks amazing um, and loads of really good advice. I'll put some more links in to have a look at their stuff. Also, Darren Stocker from the regular props uh, gave me a lot of useful advice. He builds a lot of big suits. Um, if you ever get a chance to see or face one of his big monster props, it's well worth it. A um, lot of help from Darren. Uh, thanks to go to Tim for sponsoring the whole sort of suit build. He provided the materials. I just made made the stuff when we got it. Um, Mary who just put up with me hiding in the workshop for six weeks end on end um, and Rob who came over and did a lot of um, the help that I needed when I needed an extra pair of hands. The next video will run through design and build. The one after that's going to be the painting process. Um, hopefully we'll have some more photographs of it in game as it were. I thoroughly enjoyed building it. Uh, we'll probably do it again but we'll definitely make some changes but I'll talk about those when I um, get further down the build process thanks for watching and uh, look out for the next one cheers